mean values for a single spin. The magnetic moment of a spin 1 half is such that its component mu in the up direction has probability p of being equal to uh, mu 0 and probability q which is 1 minus p of being equal to minus mu 0. Calculate the average value of mu and average value of mu square. Use the expression i of problem 2.8 to calculate delta mu square bar, the variance or dispersion of the mu. Show that your result agrees with that given in equation 57 of the text. Okay, so uh, we're going to use the definition of the average uh, in order to calculate mu bar. So mu bar by definition is equal to sum over all possible values of mu with multiplied by their corresponding probabilities pr mu r. So the it, mu, mu has two possible values plus mu zero or minus mu zero it has a value plus mu zero with probability p and then it has a value minus mu zero with probability q so this is going to give us mu zero times p minus q as the answer and uh, since p plus q is equal to 1 or q is equal to 1 minus p, we can also write this in terms of uh, p mu 0 p minus 1 minus p, that is q. So this is going to give us for mu bar um, mu 0 multiplied with p minus 1 plus p so this will give us mu bar is equal to mu 0 times 2p minus 1 so the mean value of mu the magnetic moment of a spin 1 half uh, particle is mu 0 2p minus 1 now I would like to calculate also the mean value of mu square. Now mu square mean value, once again I'm using the definition of the mean, sum over all possible values of mu square with their corresponding probabilities, pr mu r square. Uh, mu can be mu zero, so mu zero square for uh, the first possibility with probability p and then it can be uh, minus mu zero squared with probability q so I find that this is mu zero squared parentheses p plus q since p plus q is equal to 1 uh, I find that mu square mean value is mu zero square now part b says uh, use the expression i of problem 2.8 to calculate delta mu square bar the dispersion of mu dispersion or variance of mu now, if you go back to problem 2.8 uh, i, we see that it is the mean value of u squared. So this is going to be mean value of mu squared minus uh, mean value of u squared. So this is going to be average mu, mu squared. So this will give us uh, mu zero squared minus uh, mu zero times 2p minus 1 squared 
Now if we open this up, this is going to be uh, mu zero squared uh, minus mu zero squared 2p minus 1 squared and this is equal to mu zero squared 1 minus 2p minus 1 squared and this will give us mu zero squared 1 minus so the first term is 4p squared with a minus sign it will be minus 4p squared the second term is minus 2p with the minus sign becomes plus 2p the third term is plus 1 with the minus sign becomes minus 1 so plus 1 and minus 1 cancel I find that the answer I have is uh, mu zero squared 2p minus 4p squared so if I take this into 2p parentheses 2 mu zero squared p 1 minus uh, 2p and Since I have uh, 1 is equal to, so here is one mistake I have made here. This is not four, 2p, it's 4p. Uh, first term squared, 4p squared, two, twice ab, so it's 4p minus 1. Okay, so this is going to give me here... Um, 4p minus 4p squared so if I um, take this into 4p parentheses this is going to be 4 mu 0 squared p multiplied with 1 minus p which is q so this will give me uh, for delta mu square bar 4 mu 0 square p q okay uh, now what is equation 57 in the text you can go go to the text and check equation 57 this is in agreement with the text Okay, so let me go over this once more. I'm, I'm, I have to calculate the mean value of mu, that is by definition, uh, sum over all possible values of mu multiplied by their corresponding probabilities. So it is, uh, mu can be plus mu zero or minus mu zero. So it's plus mu zero with probability p. So mu zero p is the first term. And it could be minus mu zero with probability q, which uh, is one minus p minus mu zero times q so mu zero parentheses p minus q or for q i can substitute one minus p mu zero parentheses p minus parentheses one minus p and uh, that gives me p minus one plus p two p minus one so mu bar is mu zero two p minus one uh, what is the mean value of mu square it is again by definition probability of having a mu value multiplied by mu value corresponding mu value square so it is plus mu zero squared times p minus mu zero parentheses squared times q which is mu zero square parentheses p plus q that is the normalization because it has uh, one of the two values plus mu zero or minus mu zero p plus q is one so the answer is mu zero square now uh, in the previous problem we found that the variance or dispersion can be given as a square of the variable mean value minus 
mean value of the variable squared. So I substitute for mu square bar mu zero squared and for mu bar squared mu zero 2p minus 1 in parentheses. So uh, I obtain mu zero squared minus uh, the mu bar squared which is mu zero squared 2p minus 1 parentheses squared. So it is mu zero squared parentheses 1 minus parentheses 2p minus 1 squared. So it is mu zero squared 1 minus 2p minus 1 squared, if I do that explicitly here, is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So my 1 minus 2p minus 1 squared becomes 1 minus 4p squared plus 4p minus 1. Ones cancel, so I obtain mu zero squared parentheses 4p minus 4p squared in 4p parentheses 4 mu zero squared p times 1 minus p which is q so the dispersion of mu is 4 mu zero squared pq in agreement with the equation given in the text